Hey yogis, I'm coming to you from the beautiful U Studio Yoga in the Miracle Mile in Los Angeles. I'm about to teach class, I'm super excited about it. Um, I love this space, this place, and Andrea, the owner, just a wonderful badass woman who's really taught me a lot in the short time I've known her. So I just wanted to take you through some of the stuff we're doing today. So you might be able to kind of fragment some of these for yourself, maybe improve your chaturanga, or maybe find a little extra play in your practice. So setting up blocks at the highest point, shoulder width distance apart. Now set your hands <clears throat> behind them, maybe a little wider depending on your shoulders, but you're going to land your shoulder heads right on top. So the tops of my shoulders are at the very back. I tuck my toes and I find chaturanga right here. So when you're in chaturanga, you don't want your shoulders to go lower than your elbows. I see this a lot. Not chaturanga, so much pressure on your shoulders. We want to do this until we're 70, 80 years old. So this setup is a really good way to kind of get a feel for how it should feel in your body. So you practice lifting up an inch or two. You can stand, lift up, place dog from here. Lift your belly and come back. Push back to plank, nice and challenging. Or what we've been working on is walking the feet in, finding a nice stable brace here, lifting a leg, and then using your arm strength and the support of the box to lift up. And you can find sort of a scorpion action, melting them apart, keeping the elbows hugged, and taking the feet toward the top of your head. And rest in child pose. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Like it if you dig it. Keep your love alive. Namaste.